It is 5.50 right now, Central Time, 6.50 on the Eastern Time Zone. Hey, Gulf Coast Jam, it is back, and this year it's expected to be bigger than ever. News Channel 7, Sean Bro is there live this morning at Frank Brown Park getting a peek behind the scenes. Sean. Good morning, Donna. I don't know if you can tell, but I am very excited to be out here at Frank Brown Park this morning getting ready for... Gulf Coast Jam. Now I have Randy Lovelady here with me, who is the man in charge. He is the executive producer of the entire event. Now, this event is supposed to be bigger than ever, correct? It's not supposed to be. It is bigger than ever. We're going to push somewhere around 30,000 people in the park this time per day. So, yeah, we're excited. Well, as you can see, it's a pretty big production. Now, bigger than ever, after COVID kind of hit, it was a struggle getting back. But we are the, this festival was the first festival in the country to be back up and running. We were. We were the first one. I mean, of course, I mean, not to be political, but our governor was king of the road and opened the way, came in person on the stage when we opened up. So, yeah, it was we were the first in the country, first, actually one of the first in the world. Well, there you go. So with that momentum, we are back and bigger than ever. As you can see behind us, the stage is starting to set up for this weekend. Now, what days are happening this weekend? What can people kind of expect traffic wise? What's the schedule like? My advice is get here early because we've never put this many people in the park. We, we've set a system up to where we're thinking we can put in about 13,000 people per hour. So the earlier you get here, the safer your spot will be. It's always a mass production watching the gates open and watch these people <laughs> that you think would not run, run to their spot. So it is, it's a, it's a mass production. It's going to be four days of just incredible talent. We have literally the biggest talent in country music around the world. Well, it's no secret that lineup is fantastic. You know, Kenny Chesney's in there as well. It's just a phenomenal lineup. As you can see over here as well, the bar is being set up. Lots of stuff going on location. So plenty of people. Great advice, like you said, to kind of get here early. Anything else people should kind of know about safety? Well, I mean, we have, let's just say we spend all year with our, our teams looking for problems, comparing to other events that have problems. And we actually have one of the safest events in the country. And I mean, basically you come, you bring your chair, you sit and you hydrate and you hydrate and you hydrate because you're in the middle of Florida sun all day long. And we'll go to 11, 12 o'clock at night. So it's, it'll be a big party. We call it the biggest party on the beach. <laughs> well, I think that's a very true statement. That's the biggest party on the beach. We're gonna hang out here, get a little more view of behind the scenes at Golf Coast Jam. Thank you for all that great information. But for right now, we'll be right back here on News Channel 7 today. Yeah, I'm alive.